What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, guys. How are we doing today? Uh, today is another video, as per usual, no days off, and it is on Player of the Month predictions. Honestly, there's a lot of ones that kind of make me uh like think. There's a lot of options in this one, and as per usual, guys, drop whatever you want in the comments. Like the vid, sub if you're new. A hundred likes on the vid somebody will win 10k it's that simple just get the vid to 100 likes and somebody gets 10k we had a winner about last vid two videos ago stream tonight at about 9 15 east 8 east i don't know i'm gonna announce it on my twitter or youtube whatever just go follow my twitch put those notifications on whenever we go live is when we go live uh either 8 eastern 9 eastern not sure yet but anyways guys let's get into the multi predictions all right so, okay, this is what I think. To be honest, bro, the best player this month, by far, was actually Charlie Blackman statistics-wise. And he actually, if you look at his monthly stats, uh, they're crazy. Um, I mean, they're just insanity. He literally had one week where he just destroyed the league. And he's been rank one over the last month for a very long time. Um, he has 10 homers this month, 8 doubles, 24 singles. He's 44 for 115. I'm going to be honest, bro. I really see Charlie Blackman getting the top player. I really I don't see how he can't. I see him getting a player of the month card 100%. I see, I see Charlie Blackman getting one. Mike Trout was right behind Charlie Blackman. But so is uh, Ozzy Albius, or Albies, Albius, however you say it. But, okay, I don't think they're going to give Trout a card. If they do, it's going to be a 99. If they get Blackman a card, I think Blackman's going to get the card, and I think his hitting's going to be juiced. His feeling's not going to be really good. But honestly, I think Blackman might get it. I think Blackman's number one. I think he's the boss. Um, I think Albius is going to get a really good diamond, and probably an 89. Uh, this guy Guriel or Lords Guriel Jr. I was talking about him in one of my videos like last week. Um, yeah, I actually trade him in fantasy. He's playing amazing. He is top three over the last uh, month. Um, also, see, this is what I'm confused about. So Guriel is gonna get a gold, I think, because he's like a bronze or a common, whatever. Um, we also have we have Pete Alonso at five. He's top five. But he has a card already. But this month, the dude has 10 dingers with 9 doubles and 13 singles. He's 32 for 98, which is pretty good average. 23 ribbies, broke the Mets record, 17 walks for 24 Ks. I mean, that screams of a new card. But if he has an 86, are they going to give him a 90 overall with good vision and power? If so, he's starting on the team. So... Pete Alonso is looking like another player in a month. Another one that I see 100% is DJ LeMahieu. I think they're going to give him a diamond. His stats are crazy. He's ranked 6 over the last month. Insane. Also, this card I'm hyped about because his goal plays good for me. And it's Otani. Yo, freaking Otani. Um, his stats, if you look at him over the last month, you're like, holy crap. He doesn't even need to pitch. He's a beast. Look at his stats. Um, his stats are freaking insane. He's top seven over the last month. Another dude that is really freaking good right now. Kento Marte went off this month again. But not only did he... He has a monthly card. But think about this. Guess who else went off this month? Devers. And he has a monthly card. So literally all the players of the month last week, last freaking month, April, whatever, May... They're all doing good. So, what are they going to do? They could drop an Okuna. They could drop a Tatis. Okuna has an 85 diamond. Tatis has a diamond. But this is the one that I'm hyped about. We got Jeff McNeil on the Mets. Top 15. Does he deserve a diamond? Honestly, the way he's been playing, his average is crazy. He's 40 for 108. That average is absurd. I He's 100% getting a player of the month card. Another play of the month card I want to talk about. Um, I told you guys to pick him up for like 25 subs. Let me check his price actually. Um, Newman on the Pirates had a month and a half, bro. How many did I have? I have six. I got all these for 25 subs. 
Yo, if you look at, what is it, Kenny Newman? Is it Kenny Newman? I think it's Kenny Newman. Kevin Newman. Listen, bro, look at his stats. I think he's 100% getting a gold. If he doesn't, I don't know. Um, He's 40 for 110. He's a complete average hitter. He's a little cheeky base hit guy, and he actually does hit home runs. He has five this month. Uh, let me tell you, he's kind of underrated. He's actually did very good this month. I say he gets one of the golds, but this is the problem here. Oh, my God. This one kind of upsets me. Yasiel Puig actually might get a player of the month card. Will it be gold or diamond? I don't know. But, yeah, Puig deserves a card too. Puig actually went off this month. And I dropped him in fantasy and somebody picked him up. Uh, Puig actually is doing really good. He's 32 for 86. And he has 10 home runs over this month. So, honestly, bro, this player of the month is interesting. But also, Max Scherzer this month has been absolutely amazing um one of your stats over the last month he is six and zero. Oh. he has only four earned runs given up in 44 innings pitched and not only that the dude has 64 strikeouts what oh my goodness over the last starts he has 11 strikeouts one before that 14 strikeouts before that 10 before that 10 before that 10 before that 9 before that 15 so who's gonna be the boss player of the month to be honest i couldn't tell you like this is confusing to me who's gonna be the boss i could see five bosses off the bat not only are they freaking beastly this month christian yelich and bellinger are still top players they're still top 15 over the last month so what are they gonna do my brain is confused um i see kevin pillar getting a gold 100 percent. i really think he's gonna get a gold he's playing really freaking well 33 for 103 as batting average pretty freaking solid marcus Simeon's is playing well josh bell still top 20 whit merrifield could get one but like realistically i see it like okay first of all devers and pete are doing better than all of them they already got cards will they give him another card that's why i'm confused to be honest i feel like pete alonzo 100 percent deserves one not because i'm a mets fan just because like him and mcneil are the only good players right now um i seriously see them they carried the mets to some dubs mostly lawsuits that are bullpen trash but they're definitely candidates bro i definitely see mcneil getting a car if mcneil doesn't get a car we're gonna have issues but will they get Pete Alonso like a 90? If they do, yo, that would be crazy. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Soto did good this month. He could get a diamond. Elvis Andres did good this month. But really, I think the boss is going to go to Blackman. I don't see otherwise. But, like, also, Trout's not far behind him. And it's Trout. But Trout has a 90 what? What's Trout's overall? 93 already? So what do you think they're going to do? I want to hear it in the comments. I really do. Trials at 95. Will they really give him a 99 boss? I don't think so. They might give just Trout something else during the game, like, later in the year. But, yeah, I think Blackman gets the boss, man. I'm going to be honest. I'm going Blackman for the boss. I'm going for the diamonds. Let's say they do five. I'm going Pete Alonzo. I'm going Obvious. I'm going DJ LeMahieu Diamond. I'm going Otani Diamond. And, oh my god, Manny Machado did good this year. Dude, even Machado was top 10. What are they going to do in this player of the month? Um, Matt Olsen's top 15. What are they going to do? Matt Olsen's going to get a card, probably a gold. McNeil's definitely going to get a card. I think McNeil gets a diamond, but probably gold. Newman's definitely going to get a gold. That's really all I see. Let's, let's check pitching, actually. Let's see. Uh, relief pitchers. Uh, Hendricks, Will Smith. So, Will Smith could get one. Hendricks on the A's could get one. He's doing really freaking good right now. Honestly, yeah, Workman could get one. But, yeah, realistically, Scherzer could definitely get one. Trevor Bauer's actually doing really good right now. But, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, to be honest, the boss, I say it goes to Blackman. I could be off. You could disagree. I want to hear in the comments who you guys think the boss is going to be and some of the diamonds you are going to see. I'll have all the stats on my phone right now. That's why I keep looking down. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Let's go. I'm voting for Blackman, bro, all the way. Those hitting stats could literally be 100 all around. And I love Charlie Blackman. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you agreed with my uh, statements. I have the stats on my phone. 
Let's see a freaking Beast, Charlie Blackman, Otani. Listen, if they drop Otani, Blackman, Albies, and all them, I'm copying them. And I'm playing player of the months. I'm doing a gameplay with them on stream. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Peace.